Hi, I'm Tony Van Veen, CEO of Dismakers. You know, too many artists record and release their album without giving any thought to how to make their album as successful as it could possibly be. If this has happened to you on a previous album by chance and the results were disappointing, then here are my five quick tips for how to make your next album release as successful as possible. Let me start with this point. We live, as we all know, in a streaming world. And you should release everything you do digitally because that's where people discover and listen to music. But every successful album release, at least one that maximizes the reach, the fan excitement, and the financial opportunity of that album should include a physical component, either CD or vinyl or both. Of course, Release all the singles you want just digitally, but your album drops should include physical. Here's part one of a successful release. I'll call this the table stakes. Your stuff has to sound great and look great. It needs to be well recorded with a solid mix, and then you have to get your album professionally mastered to optimize the sound for when it hits the radio, the club, the car stereo, or your fans' headphones. Too many artists skip this critical step, and they underestimate how much of a difference professional mastering can make, especially in today's music industry, where you might record and release four singles over a period of maybe six months, and then put them together with six more songs for the album. If you don't master those separate, disparate tracks, your album won't have a cohesive sound. Plus, bass, high-end levels won't be optimized for today's listening environment. Almost as important as your sound, your album art needs to be killer. Your cover needs to look so good that people who see it are compelled to pick it up when they see it on your merch table or click on the thumbnail when they see it online. This design should not be done by your bass player's cousin who knows Photoshop. Designing an amazing cover requires skill that not just anyone has. Your designer needs album cover design experience. Just Take a look at a few of these really cool examples. Cool, right? I mean, they may not all be your taste, but each one is compelling and interesting in their own way. And by the way, if you don't have a connection for great mastering or cover design, now you do. The engineers at our sound lab and our designers are amazing. And we offer a money back satisfaction guarantee on all the mastering and design work that we do at this maker. Here's part two of a successful release. You need a plan. It can be a simple plan that probably doesn't take more than an hour to put together. But before you release your album, you need to have given at least some thought to what you want to do with your album and how you want to do it. Do you want to sell your albums? If so, what will be your sales outlets? Is it your website, your Bandcamp page? What about local record stores? Any other places you can think of, like a local skate shop? Of course, there's selling them at your concerts. And of course, offering to autograph them at your merch table to delight your fans and move more album units. Part number three of a successful album release is this. Once you've given thought to what you want to do with the album, you need to think about how you're going to let people know about it. Yes, I'm talking the dreaded promotion. You can certainly do a bunch of things for free. Do you have a mailing list? If not, do you at least have email addresses from people you know? You can reach people extremely effectively through email and tell them about your album, when your release party is, and where they can buy your album online. Then, of course, there's social posts that you need to create. But you have to be aware that just a regular post has a very limited reach. If you post something online in a regular post, no more than 20% of your friends and followers will actually see it in their feed. 
Insta, Facebook, TikTok, X, they all need attention in today's crowded social media environment. Plus, the stories for each of these platforms. It's a lot of content to create. Then add in video content for YouTube and TikTok and Instagram Reels because like it or not, the visual component is essential to today's album release. Do you need to do all of it? No. But based on where your fans hang out online, you will certainly need to do a bunch of it. So give some thought to how you will find time to do that and what kind of content you'll be able to create that generates some excitement. And basically, as a follow-up to your social plan and your communication plan, you'll want to sit down to figure out exactly what kind of content to create. How do you figure that out? Simple, actually. Look around at what others are doing. What are other artists like you doing on socials, on email? Subscribe to their emails and find out. Are there social posts or videos or emails that you've noticed, even if they're not from artists, that catch your eye, that appeal to you? Can you create something like that? Are there interesting stories you can tell to compel people to check out your music? A bit of thinking, of planning, goes a long way. Number four is your release concert. In fact, for many artists, it's not just a release concert, but several concerts or even a tour to support the album. Come on, releasing an album is a big deal. It doesn't happen often. You need to celebrate the release, and a concert is an awesome way to draw attention to your album. Plus, that's when you can sell a bunch of product at your merch table and start recouping your investment. Speaking of investment, part number five of a successful release strategy includes money. Any successful album release means that you need to be prepared to drop some dough. Recording, making your records and CDs, designing the cover and mastering all cost money. Just as importantly, to get above the noise from a promotion perspective, you'll need to spend some money promoting your music. Those could be simply boosting your posts or trying out Insta advertising or Facebook or audio ads on Spotify to get people to discover your music. Figure out how much you want to spend on promotion and then double it and maybe double it again. And that may still not be enough. Now, can you release an album while pinching pennies? Of course. You could take your mix, not master it, create your own design for free online at the disc maker site, and spend just 150 bucks for 100 CDs and jackets. You could rely on only email and word of mouth and organic social posts to get the word out. And that may all be fine. Your album will be launched and out there, but you won't be optimizing your chance at success, at reaching the widest audience possible and maximizing your streams and your sales. And that's what releasing an album is about, isn't it? Getting as many people as possible to hear it and to own it. So here it is. Make sure your album looks and sounds great. Have a plan for what you'll do with your album. Sell them, give them away. Number three, Think about how you're going to get the word out. Number four, support your release with some live concerts. And number five, figure out where you need to spend some money and how much you're prepared to spend. As I said, you could probably figure most of this out in about an hour. And just thinking about this before you drop your album will already put you ahead of probably 80% of independent artists. And then, my friend, the work starts. And indeed, there's some real work involved with a successful album release. But a lot of it is actually fun. It's creative work. And it's a lot easier if you have a plan. In fact, that plan can even include when you're going to make the time to do some of the activities that I just mentioned. And most importantly, having that plan will lead your album to be a lot more successful than just receiving your shipment from disc makers scratching your head and wondering, shoot, what do I do now? I hope you found this helpful. I'll see you next time.